Remember, the cryo arms will open at about minus seven seconds. À tous les vidéos, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage UAP, décollage. So at 17, what is it, 17, 15, 18, 15, and right on time, well, with a five-minute delay, Ariane 5 began her mission, lifting off La propulsion est nominale. in French Guiana with a lot of fire. Nice shot of the birds on the port side as she took off. I don't know if you could see that. The DDO is saying that everything is going smoothly on board as Ariane begins her mission, the seventh for Ariane Space. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Two new satellites for new services for new customers around the globe. The two boosters are providing 90% of our thrust right now, propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity. 774 tons is her mass at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel per second, 2.5 tons in each booster, plus the core stage and the middle is burning another 300 kilos of fuel every second. And Ariane 5 now following the program in her onboard computer, which is located on the upper stage. This gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will... La propulsion est nominale, see. la trajectoire est nominale, tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Propulsion and trajectory normal, says the DDO. We're in the first of four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn and in detail, so you can follow Ariane. here in, in uh, Jupiter, and the sound is just coming des deux EAP. All right, those are the separation of the two boosters. You saw that. The DDO confirmed it. This is what it looks like up there. There is one on the left-hand side of the vehicle, outside of, uh, out of the camera range. Before the boosters are empty, their push diminishes in the onboard computer, the same one, senses this drop in acceleration and separates them and they fall 500 kilometers from shore into a protected area. French Guiana was in part, remember, chosen as a base for its opening normal, on the nominal. ocean, launches posing no threat to local population. Take a look at the bottom of your screen on the left altitude, on the right our speed. We're over 100 kilometers and we're past 2 kilometers per second. We're getting close to the separation of the fairing, which will be next up. And there we are, right on time. Separation de la coiffe. Revealing the silver box on the top is Helicet Inmarset. Separation is given by two pyrotechnic cords, and there's one half you can see, the other half on the right side, out of uh, camera range. These cords actually remove the fairing by a contained explosion, very small explosion, that pushes the two parts of the fairing apart. We can separate the fairing now. Why? Because we're out of the dense layers of the atmosphere and uh, neither friction nor heating, which could disturb the passengers. Also, we can get rid La of any dead weight. Nominal. The fairing weighs almost two and a half tons, so we don't need it anymore. We let it go. Ariane 5, of course, the heavy lift launch vehicle. The other two members of the family Soyuz lifting middle-sized payloads, two and three tons. And Vega, the light lift vehicle for La missions of one est ton. Nominal. Our next film gives you a closer look at one of our upper passenger operators, Helisat 3. Thank you for watching. Click below to watch more videos. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon.